great evening last night, and uh, there is obviously a few people still with hangovers to come in. Um, I expect that there will be drifting in during the, the, the morning session. Uh, this has been a great event so far, and I've had a lot of positive feedback from many of you, not only about the Congress and the Council, but also about the buildings, and just as importantly, about the country, the people, and the culture. The Council is very proud that we brought over 650 delegates from 42 countries to, the, to Dubai. I'm not sure what the final attendance numbers will be, but, but it should, should be close to a thousand. Uh, so you can see there are a few hangovers this morning. Uh, at this particular time, it is good for all of us to develop a greater knowledge and understanding about this part of the world. I, for one, have been very impressed by how there are so many more connections rather than conflicts in the way that people think. So I hope that we will take back to our countries the connections that we have made here over these three days. And I think that in some small way that this conference has helped to break down the barriers and prejudices that exist in the world today. I've been so impressed by the quality of all the presentations in the last two days and I believe that our requirement that speakers publish a paper in the proceedings have really helped them fine-tune their thoughts. It's really been great quality. The proceedings themselves should also make a great reference book for the future and should help us build on the wisdom that we have heard here today in the last couple of days. In six months' time, these papers will all be online and everybody can search them. It's a, a, a free source open to all. Uh, on your seats this morning, you should find uh, a yellow form. So we're looking for your opinion of the events. Uh, you've just heard mine. So please then fill in the yellow forms and hand them in either at the front desk to MCI or to the council booth. In particular, if you're willing to work hard and be more involved in the council, and when I say work, I mean work, then please make your suggestions on the form on where and how you can help. We're always looking for volunteers. Over the last few days, we've, issued, we've examined the issues of urban sustainability and mega projects, and we've looked at the big picture issues. Today, we're going to be talking about tall buildings, articulated towers, and sustainable towers. I really like to start off, and particularly Morrissey's presentation, which described how the world will end if we do not change our ways. A sobering and frightening description of what might happen if we do nothing, or if we do not do enough. I thought it was a superb presentation backed up with science. It's very clear that we need to do something, and I was also very pleased to see that we are doing something, some great innovations and ideas being implemented on tall buildings and also being implemented on a city scale. So the future is not all bleak. In the last five years, the application of sustainable design has gone from the periphery of what we do to mainstream. It now applies to nearly all the buildings and it is frequently the main driver of design. So what will happen in the next five years? In five years' time, we will move from LEAD, which is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design, to LEAP, which is Leadership in Energy and Environmental Performance. In future, we will have data on all buildings, particularly on all Class A buildings, on this, their energy use and on their water use. And consultants will be able to help building owners make sure that their buildings perform to the best of their ability. What really matters is how buildings are operated and how they perform, rather than how we design them. Design is only the start. In places like Dubai, water and energy are pretty much the same thing. They have a related carbon footprint. And in future we will be able to choose our hotels by their carbon footprint per room per night. And we need to make these changes take place. Already some tenants demand it, and more and more do so. And we as the council will work, out, will work hard to make this our top priority to help implement these changes. 
Everyone who has been involved in preparing for this Congress should be very proud. We have an enormous support from the Congress Organising Committee, from Dubai Municipality and from EMA, our main sponsor, and also from our other sponsors. The two most common questions I've been asked is, what next and where next? Uh, what next? The Council is seriously considering establishing an Emirates branch of the Council and Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. There is a need for this uh, type of uh, group in this country uh, and we would take uh, some leadership from the Koreans who have just established the Korean branch of the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Ta Habitat uh, because they also have got a great deal of local expertise and knowledge and interest in what's going on in the world of tall buildings. So that may happen. Where next? Well, like the height of the Burj, we're going to keep you guessing for a while yet. We haven't yet made up our minds. So finally, I'd like to thank all the speakers, all the sponsors, all the organizers for all their wonderful contributions. Uh, I should point out one small change to today's program. Uh, we learned only uh, three days before the start of the Congress that unfortunately, Rem Kohas will not be joining us today. Uh, while this is, of course, very disappointing, we are very pleased, very pleased that Rem's partner, Ole Shirinen, has flown all the way from Beijing to be with us today and he will be taking his place. I hope you all enjoy the last day of the Congress. There is a lot going on, a lot of great talks coming up. Uh, please enjoy it. I'd like to hand over to Anthony Wood who will be chairing the first session. Uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you David. Um, just a few points of order before we get started on the session today. Um, you all got feedback forms on your sheet, David mentioned that, on your seats, is that correct? Yellow feedback forms. Could you please, uh, we'd encourage you to fill those out and could you please hand them back to any members of the MCI staff or alternatively Jerry Kerry at the uh, CWH exhibition booth. It's the last day of the Congress. I don't know if you're all aware, I think perhaps some people aren't, but we do have a number of papers that we just didn't have space to give an oral presentation slot to. And these posters, or the poster session, is down just outside Banias 3. So we would encourage you to go and see the 10 or 11 papers that have been uh, presented through poster uh, mounted on easels just outside Banias 3. I've had a request from the Chicago Committee on High Rise Buildings. Steve Riggio, somewhere around? Uh, apparently, you're all here, or most of you are, about 20 of you, and Steve wants to organise a photograph at the first break. So members of the Chicago Committee on High Rise Buildings, I suggest that you all assemble in the conference lobby at the first break, please. Quite a few people have asked us about the AIA forms for continuing education credits. Sorry, this is a bit boring, but uh, all the AIA forms should be in your bags. If you want to get a certificate, or whatever you need to get for that, you, you need to ensure that you fill out those forms and give them back to Jerry Kerry in the uh, CTBH booth before the end of today, so she can follow up on that. And talking of Jerry, now Jerry's a lovely lady, but she's a very fierce lady if you upset her. And she has brought lots of publications with her from Chicago, especially our last book that we produced, The Tallest 101 Buildings in the World, play on Taiwan 10, uh, Taipei 101, of course. It's extremely cheap. It's a great book. Please do not make her carry all these books back to Chicago, because she will be held to work with for a few weeks. So if you've not already gone and seen the CTBH exhibition booth, please do that. Meet Jerry. We've got free copies of the CTBH journal. For anyone who's not had that, members should have had that, of course. Paper copies of the last two editions of the journal and lots of other great stuff there. Please get rid of these books. Okay, um, could I ask the speakers, please, uh, for the plenary session this morning to take the stage?
Could we have a round of applause to lighten things up?